Hello and welcome to the Paul's Business Wrap on Pauls.com.gh. Brought to you by ADB, Julia Creek and more. Coming up, Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Abdul Nasiru Isayaku, has jumped to the defense of the Minister of Finance, Seth Tekbe, in the $250 million Eurobond diversion scandal. NPP Vice Presidential Candidate Dr. Mahmoud Baumia asserted that the Bank of Ghana flouted the BOG Act Section 53 for diverting the $250 million meant for the Ghana Infrastructure Fund to a private bank. According to Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Isayaku, the Ministry and the Bank of Ghana did nothing wrong in transferring the 250 million dollars which was supposed to be the initial deposit of the Ghana infrastructure fund he cited BOG Act section 53 to back his argument of no wrong done Newmont Mining Corporation in its financial report for 2015 has revealed that its operations in Ghana generated about $464 million in economic value to stakeholders in the country. This was captured in their recently published annual Beyond the Mind report which detailed Newmont Global's performance in safety, economic, social and environmental stewardship. The mining firm generated $74 million in employee wages and benefits, $60.5 million in taxes and royalties, and $6.6 million in community investments. We go now to the currency market where the dollar is buying for 3 cities 80 pesos and selling for 4 cities 10 pesos. The pound sterling is buying for 5 cities 48 pesos and selling for 5 cities 78 pesos. The euro is buying for 4 cities 28 pesos and selling for 4 cities 58 pesos. On how your stocks performed on the GSE index today, Ecobank Ghana Limited were the biggest losers of the day, losing 10 pesos to close at 6 CDs 70 pesos. There were no gainers for the day. And that's a wrap for business for us today. For more, log on to the website, pulse.com.gh. Brought to you by ADB, Julia Creek and more.